The proposed changes to fire hazard properties aim to clarify the current deemed to satisfy, or DTS, provisions. They also intend to align with common industry practice for determining the fire resistance of a building material, component or assembly. There are currently mixed interpretations as to the NCC reference testing standards which are required to determine fire hazard properties. In addition, most products in the market typically consist of variations. A requirement to test every unique product imposes a high cost to industry, stifles innovation, creates longer lead times and limits the products available in the market. We propose changes to resolve these issues by providing a clear pathway to determine fire hazard properties. The proposed changes aim to improve the quality and consistency of testing by adding the requirement to have these tested at an accredited testing laboratory, ATL. An ATL is an organisation that has been accredited in Australia by the National Association of Testing Authorities Australia, or NATA, to undertake relevant tests. It can also be an organisation not based in Australia that is accredited by a body recognised by NATA through mutual recognition. These changes also aim to improve the NCC and make it easier to determine fire hazard properties for products with minor variations to the tested system without the need for further testing. The proposed changes were developed in consultation with our Peak Technical Committee, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC, and ATLs. The proposed changes include updates to how fire hazard properties are determined by introducing multiple pathways. The first pathway will allow you to determine fire hazard properties by testing an identical prototype in accordance with referenced test standards. The difference compared to the current code is that testing can only be done by an ATL. The second pathway will allow you to determine the fire hazard property through a product assessment by an ATL when a building material, component or assembly differs only by a minor degree to a tested prototype. Examples of minor variations include, but are not limited to, thickness, colour, perforation patterns or mounting methods. A product assessment is a desktop study to determine the likely performance of a product or an assembly compared to a tested prototype. Reports issued by an ATL must confirm the building product, component or assembly can achieve the fire hazard property despite the minor variations from the tested prototype and describe the materials, construction and conditions of restraint and other limitations which are necessary to achieve the fire hazard property. Any product variation will need to be examined on a case by case basis by the ATL depending on the type of variation end use and the limits chosen to ensure that the fire hazard property remains unchanged. The influence of a combination of variations on the fire hazard property of the product component or assembly may be interrelated. These changes will clarify the compliance pathways, reduce testing costs, reduce lead times and support consistent interpretation of the DTS provisions. It will give certainty to product manufacturers, builders, building surveyors and certifiers. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au forward slash PCD. Here you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes one, two and three and the housing provisions. You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from 1 May to 1 July 2024. We look forward to your input.